Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's session, we'll see a one more program in Python that is a special number. So how to find whether the given number is a special number or not. So for this, first we'll discuss about how to find that and then we'll see the logic implementing in Python. So if, if the sum of factorial of individual digits of given number is equal to a number given number then we call it as a special number right so sum of a factorial of individual digits of a number then uh, let us see the example so that you will be understanding perfectly so let us take n is equal to 145 145 so what are the sum sum is equal to 1 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial so which is equal to 1 factorial is 1 plus 4 factorial is 24 plus 5 factorial is 120 and if you sum all these three so we'll get the number as 145 which is nothing but n value so simply we can say 145 is special number so what we have to do we have to find out the individual digits and we have to apply the factorial for that individual digits and we have to update the sum that means we have to add all those factorials of individual digits so that we we have to compare with the given number if both are equal we can say simply it is a special number right so hope you understood this logic now let's implement in python so first let us read the number so n is equal to int of input enter number so what we have to do then uh, i will just copy this n value to one more variable let it be x is equal to n because so after updating i mean in the process of finding the individual digits we are updating the n value and after completion of these iterations we have to compare the sum with the given value so that i am just uh, taking one more variable assigning the same value to that particular variable now in order to find the individual digits simply go with this one so if while x greater than 0 uh, simply find out the remainder so that we'll get the individual digits so r is equal to x uh, mod 10 and uh, we have to add to the all the factorials right so sum is equal to sum plus factorial of r r is the individual digits right now update the x value so that it will reduce the number of digits so if x is having three digit number after first iteration it, it becomes a two digit number so for that we have to use a floor division so x floor division sorry x floor division 10 now we have to compare the sum with the given number n because we, we have taken x and we are updated x so we have to compare the sum with n and if both are equal simply we can say n is special number and if not if not simply we can decide n is not a special number not a special number so is the program complete no so because we have to write the definition for factorial so here we are passing one argument to the factorial function so we need to write some user defined function so i'll write the user defined function here def so factorial of r factorial of r and i will write the recursive function so if r is equal to is equal to 0 or r is equal to is equal to 1 simply return 1 else write the recursive function so return we have to return r into factor of r minus 1 right so this step gives the individual digits and this step uh, goes to the user defined function it finds the factorial and it will update to the sum so here we are updating the sum and by default we have to consider the sum as zero because without having the value we can't update the value so initially 
the sum is equal to zero and after complete after finding the factor of each and every digit we are adding that number to the sum right so let us execute the program let us take the same example 145 so we can see if 145 is a special number and consider one more thing one two three it's not a special number because one factorial plus two factorial plus three factorial one plus two plus six it's nine so 9 is not equal to 123 so that's why 123 is not a special number right so finding the individual digits and finding the factorials right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, special number program feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session Share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.